Okay, uh, starting part two of the Alewife. Let me get my walking stick. Uh, Alewife uh, Greenway Trail, part two is where I ended the last first part, so I'll begin it here. Um, about a month later, I'd say, from the first part, and uh, get over here today. It's mid-October, so we're deep into fall. And, should be oh well, it's gonna be a little bright in the sun so I'll keep it down to the side and uh, like I said I usually don't do just straight on walking videos you know um, but uh, in this case I wanted to kind of do this trail this way you know, before all the everything you know all the leaves disappear for winter and there's one. Uh, you can pause that again if you want to read it. About natural natural cavities. Hey, okay. didn't know that. It's interesting. Here's some big stump and uh, old tree that fell. Let's go around here. A lot of cat cat nine tails that we call them. Right here. Yeah, time goes quick. Wind and I see more deer track in there that uh, comes through than the camera, but time goes quick on these videos when you're doing just a walk straight on walking. I'll probably go up to six, seven minutes or something. As for part two, I think I did eight minutes for part one. A little bridge. The sun's really uh, beating on my eyes here, but I uh, have to get more shady area. These are pretty tall, huh? So it's definitely twice my height. Tree and something's running. That might have been a deer. Yep. Ah, sorry to, to scare him. <laughs> and that, I don't know if you heard that in the camera. <laughs> I feel a little bad. I don't like disturbing. And I think when he, she went over to the other side, right across the water. Uh, it's probably over there drinking. You might have heard that. I don't know if you got a piece of the deer on video there. There's so many deer. Um, anyway, it was standing right in there in the water, probably drinking or something. Um, anyway, here's another poster, trail poster. You can uh, I've seen a mink before. It's hard. They're hard to spot. They're 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 not easy to see, but I've seen a few. Not here. Wave Brook, which is kind of you know semi-stagnant. It never has a good flow going. You know the rain when it rains a lot, it will fill up, but it seems to go down quickly. It's too bad. I wish there was a better kind of flow. And this is wetland in here. Yeah, up to four minutes. Not as much uh, color in here as I thought there would be. It's gonna be a big deep freeze tonight though, so everything's gonna freeze tonight. It's very chilly last night, but it's gonna be even colder. Oop. You get a sense what this trail is like. It's nice to have this near near me. Um, no, I was hung a pot up here. <laughs> uh, 
here some color. This is a birdhouse of some sort, but it's a quite a tall birdhouse. I don't know what would be staying in there. This is, I don't remember this here before. Maybe it was a, not having the best memory lately, but uh, anyway, here we go. I think I'm gonna end, it, end this part right around the corner over here. But anyways, another, that's a big birdhouse. Quite, uh, quite stable looking. It's got to be about 20 feet high or so. Probably shouldn't have talked this much. I think I'm going to end part two here, and uh, you know, part three is probably not much left. Well, part three is going to go there, uh, follow the path, and it will go into there, which is Silver Maple Forest. We'll did a, do some uh, more videos sometime later, and uh, the fall is really uh, taking hold. I like this little area here. stick. I like having hefty walking sticks when I uh, go out. And, uh, more so for the, the possibility of someone's dog or something. I'm a little paranoid, but um, also it's just nice to have a walking stick. But anyway, there's a, another birdhouse over there, but it's, it's smaller and it's leaning over, so let's go over here anyway. off the trail, but uh, hey. Well, there you go. End of part two. Alewife Brookway, uh, Alewife Brook Greenway Trail, I guess, that goes into Silver Maple Forest.